With all the shakedown hikes that I've done this year, there is one scenario that I have not been able to test to prepare for my 2024 Appalachian Trail through hike, and that is cold weather. Starting in Georgia in February means early March in the Smokies, and with an average high of 56 degrees and an average low of 29, I need my cold weather gear to work. It's hard to test cold weather gear here in the south over the summer, so I jumped on a plane and headed to one of the places that has enough elevation to almost guarantee a cold night in September. Welcome to Colorado. We are at the Lost Creek Wilderness to test my cold weather gear. We're gonna do a trail that's gonna be about 25 miles over the next two days, and we're gonna be able to test out all the cold weather gear. As soon as I get to camp, I'm gonna break it down, show you what we're using, and then tomorrow morning, I'll let you know how warm we stayed. Yeah, hopefully it's warm, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Let's talk about this cold weather gear that I've been using so far. Right now, I've got my t-shirt on that I normally wear. Um, I did choose to wear pants on this hike and they're nothing special they're just a pair of, of cargo joggers that I decided to wear I did bring my my Z packs possum beanie and um, the the possum gloves and I tell you what those things are super warm I'm wearing my my same old topo pursuits that I always wear my zotos my hiking socks that I always wear but that's what I brought now I did bring my my decathlon down puffy and um, I'll be breaking that out at camp because when you do stop out here, um, the, the cold seems to set in a little bit. So this is gonna be a fantastic test of all my cold weather gear. That is all of the cold weather gear that I brought as far as clothing goes. I mean, I'm obviously wearing my Moreno wool underwear, but I wear those kind of like everywhere I hike. So yeah, that's it for the clothing as far as my cold weather testing. And I think that if this stuff works out here in Colorado, it'll definitely suit me on my through hike starting in February. All right, guys, we, uh, we hiked 14 miles yesterday down in the Lost Creek Wilderness here in beautiful Colorado. And I specifically came out here to test my cold weather gear. Yesterday, I talked to you a little bit about the, the, the stuff that I was wearing and, and all of that stuff worked absolutely fantastic. And um, it, was, it, it, got, it got a little chilly last night. At the end of our hike yesterday, it began little snow flurries happening right at the top of the ridge where we just came down off of. And it even was snow flurrying a little bit here this morning. So we definitely know that we got the cold weather that we needed to properly test the gear that we brought. So the gear that I brought, I brought two sleep system setups, all right? I used one and I let my buddy Justin use the other one. So the first thing that I brought, the one that I slept on, was the REI Helix mattress, all right? It has an R value of 4.9, and I combined that with the El Coyote quilt. And I ordered the 20 degree habanero quilt, and that thing slept like a toaster oven. I'm gonna put some links down below for you guys to look them up. I'm telling you, guys, I was only in my Moreno leggings and my Moreno long sleeve shirt. I didn't have any other layers on. Other than that, I tucked away inside of my quilt on top of my REI mattress. I did keep my Z-Packs uh, hat on, but other than that, I, I, was, I was nice and toasty. I, I didn't really get cold at all. Now my buddy Justin was using my other setup. So what I brought there was I brought a, a big Agnes Rapide SL, and that's a 72 by 25 mattress. And I've been using that mattress all summer. It's a three and a half inch mattress pad. But as far as sleep goes, Justin said that he was super warm. As a matter of fact, he went to sleep with his hoodie and his gloves on, and he had to strip all that stuff off because he, he got warm. We paired that up with a Hammett Gear 20 degree overstuffed quilt. But yeah, so everything that we brought as far as the, the sleep systems go worked out absolutely perfectly. So I can recommend any of that stuff as far as cold weather gear goes. But um, if you have any suggestions, leave those things in comments down below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this and click that notification bell. So if you enjoyed this video, you get all the notifications when these videos come out. And we'll see you guys on the next one.